Hi. Welcome to ANSYS tutorial, APDL command for solid 65 concrete model using ANSYS Workbench 2019. There is more than one way to model concrete in ANSYS, this tutorial will only focus on solid 65 concrete model. Although solid 65 is the old legacy element, it's still a good choice for a structural engineering problem, until the newer concrete model become fully explored. ANSYS Workbench does not directly support the Solid 65 element, APDL command is required in order to access the Solid 65 element. Let's begin the tutorial. From Workbench, New Project. Choose a unit and select metric millimeter. From Toolbox chooses Static Structural and drag to Project Schematic. Then select engineering data in order to create a concrete material property. Only isotropic elasticity is required for now. Any other material parameters will be provided via APDL command later on. Enter 23,205 MPa for Young's modulus and 0.2 for Poisson ratio. Now we can close the Engineering Data tab. Right-click at the geometry and choose Edit Geometry in Space Claim. And wait for Space Claim to load. Now we will create the sketch plane in the X and Y plane by specifying Z-axis as the normal vector. Choose Z-axis by clicking at the blue arrow. From Design menu, at the Create ribbon, choose Plane. Choose the 3D mode and then choose Sketch mode. This will enable the user to draw a sketch in the XY plane. Now choose Rectangle then click at any point in the sketch plane. Enter 100 and then press tab to enter another 100. We will now have the rectangular with dimension of 100 by 100 millimeters. We will now extrude the rectangular into the cube. From design menu, choose pull. Select the square and pull along Z-axis for 100 mm by entering 100. From Detail menu, choose Dimension, and click the sides of the cube in order to display the cube dimension. The cube is now completed, we can now close space claim. From Project Schematic, right-click at the model and choose Edit to load Mechanical Module.
from geometry, choose cis solid cube body, and set material assignment to linear concrete. From mesh menu, set element order to linear. And set element size to 100 mm so that there will be only one element after meshing. Now apply the boundary condition so that the solid body will be constrained against x, y, and z axis. Apply displacement control in order to create stress in the solid body. Input minus 0.19 mm in z-axis. Create the result for strain, displacement, and stress along z-axis. With the current model which based on linear material, it is expected that the stress in the concrete shall be 44.1 MPa. From Solution menu, choose to solve to perform linear structural analysis. The linear structural analysis is completed, we can now close the mechanical module. From the toolbox, choose mechanical APDL and drag it to the project schematic. Right click at the analysis and choose open mechanical APDL. Expand the general post-processor menu. Choose data and file option. And find the folder location name sys, mech, and open the file as shown here.
The file name, file.rst contains the finite element model and structural analysis results for concrete cube we have just completed from ANSYS Workbench. Choose the results summary. In this case, we only have one set of results data. To open the data, expand the read results menu, and choose the last set. Now, the structural analysis results already loaded into mechanical APDL. To display the model, expand the preprocessor menu. This will enable ANSYS mechanical APDL ready for input data. Choose the plot menu and then multi plots. Click the pan zoom rotate icon, then choose the isometric view. Now we will learn the first APDL command, the comments. Type exclamation mark in the command prompt, mechanical APDL will recognize that anything follows the exclamation mark is comments. Type the comments then press enter to register the command. We will learn the next APDL command from the graphic user interface. Expand the element type menu and choose add edit delete. There is already one element type, solid 185, which is automatically generated by ANSYS Workbench. Now add the element type solid 65. The reference number could be any number that high enough to not redundant with the reference number that previously automatically generated by Workbench. In this case, the reference number equal to 1 is already occupied. Let's input the reference number of 9991. In mechanical APDL, any time we finish the input with a graphic user interface, the APDL command will be saved in the log file. From the list menu, choose files, then log file. Scroll down to the most bottom of log file will contain the latest APDL command. This command is what we will replicate for further use in ANSYS Workbench. So, copy the APDL command to the blank text file. This is how we learn the APDL command from graphic user interface. Any other APDL command from now will be learned the same way. The next step is to create a material property. Expand the material properties menu and choose material models. We can now see that material number 1 is already occupied. Create the new material model with the reference number of 9991. Add the linear elastic material model with Young's modulus of 23,205 megapascals and Poisson ratio of 0.2. Open the log file and copy the latest APDL command to the text file. From the list menu, choose elements then choose nodes and attributes. We can see that the element type has been assigned to reference number 1 and the material model are also assigned to reference number 1. Therefore, we will change the assignment to refer to our newly created reference number. Input the comment in the command prompt to serve as the starter.
expand modeling menu, expand move and modify, then, expand elements. Choose modify attributes. Pick the solid cube, press OK, then select element type and input reference number of 9991. And then do the same for the material model. Check the log file for the latest APDL command. The only APDL command that we will copy is emodif command. The rest are only used for the sake of graphic user interface during user picking and of no use in ANSYS Workbench. Let's check the current element attributes. We can see that the element type has been assigned to reference number 9991 and the material model is also assigned to reference number 9991. We learn enough APDL command. For now, let's close mechanical APDL and go back to ANSYS Workbench. Open the mechanical module. Right click at static structural and choose insert, then, choose commands. The APDL command text editor will appear. We will input the APDL command here. Always begin the command with prep7 and end with solu. Here, Copy and paste the APDL command acquired from mechanical APDL. In order to verify if the APDL command is working, try to increase Young's modulus by 10 times. By doing so, it is expected that the stress result should also 10 times higher which is increased from 44.1 MPa to 441 MPa. The stress results still show 44.1 MPa which is not as expected, which means the APDL command is not working yet. The cause of the problem is because the P51X parameter is only working on mechanical APDL. Now, replace P51X with all and run the analysis again. The stress results are now 441 megapascals which is as expected, which means the APDL command is working. So, let's change the Young's modulus back to normal.
At this point, the APDL command for linear elastic model is completed. Next, we will learn how to set up the nonlinear stress strain and concrete model. Let's go back to mechanical APDL. Select the multilinear inelastic model, and input the stress-strain curve for concrete. The stress strain curve can be previewed by pressing the graph button. Open the log file and copy the latest APDL command. Select the concrete model and input concrete parameters. After that, open the log file and copy the latest APDL command. We can now close mechanical APDL and go back to ANSYS mechanical module. Add the APDL command for the nonlinear concrete models. Since the material model is now nonlinear, 
Under the same compressive strain, the expected stress results will become 25.44 MPa. Now, let's solve the model and check the results. The compressive stress result is 25.44 MPa, which is correct. Let's do one more test with tension instead of compression. With small tensile strain, the concrete can take tensile stress that less than the tensile strength of concrete. With high tensile strain, the stress result is zero which represents cracking. APDL command for solid 65 concrete model is now completed. This ends the tutorial.